on my way to San Diego, but I stopped in Orange County because I wanted to stop at this place called Mr. Baguette. There's not one near my house. So this is it. My order is called, it's a number two pate and pork loaf, pork meatloaf, which is like Jalua. It's kind of warm in here, so I'm gonna roll down my windows real quick. Oh, and I also got a CSD, which is Cafe Sita, or Vietnamese iced coffee. And it has, it's basically just coffee or espresso um, and sweetened condensed milk. And my aunt used to make it with a little bit of rum. Um, yeah, it's really good. The sandwich is $7.74. When I was growing up, I remember going to uh, one near my mom's work and it was only a dollar fifty or a dollar twenty five or something like that so it's gone up quite a bit um and the iced coffee is six dollars i guess rosemead and monterey park would be the closest to me in la and there's one in el monte okay oh they cut it in half for me thank goodness mm. so there's a lot of pickled carrots that just fell out and no pickled icon, oddly enough. Some jalapenos, some butter, some, I think, no, no, just mayo, cilantro. This is the Vietnamese ham right here, jalu. And then underneath this is a layer of pate. It's gonna be crumbs all over my car. I'm eating like the crummiest thing. I like my baguette, soft in the, in the center, but not too airy. And I like the outside to be like super uh, crunchy. I want it to like fuck up the roof of my mouth, you know what I mean? I'm in San Diego right now because I'm going to see a musician perform at this place called The Sound. And I'm actually in their hotel. <laughs> there drinking coffee and it's Valley James. <laughs> so what are you doing right now? Um, um getting ready for my show. Yes. I'm opening for Shaky Graves tonight. Nice. <laughs> wow your makeup looks beautiful. Thank you. I just got this Stila pen. Graphic liner. Is it a it's gorgeous. Oh it's glitter, huh? Oh, that's gonna be really pretty. Let me see this. Oh my gosh. Isn't it wasn't crazy? Yeah, you see how makeup artists so you know all the tips and tricks. Oh, oh, you, you make it look so easy. You make it look so easy. Dude, it looks nice. Can you see? <laughs> she just did her hair with one of these guys. Look how cool this is. The air wrap. Well, it's really light. I know, isn't it? Yeah, that's nice. And then this is the dress that she'll be wearing. Not this towel, <laughs> this dress. And look at this detailing right here. It's so cool. What is a, one thing that you have to do when you're getting ready for a show? You have to like sit, sit in the corner by myself before I play. That makes sense, yeah. I don't have like a ritual yet. I don't know. Yeah. That's tricky, huh? Because when people are going to start, like, I don't know if they already do, but they're going to start asking for things that you need. Wow, that's cool. It is cool. Holy moly. It's so, like, it's just silver. Graphic. Yeah. Wow to do with it but this elf halo glow oh let me see it is so good whoa not what i was expecting someone recommended it at ulta and i was like all right and oh. it is awesome it's got like a little bit of shimmer in it huh yep or luminescence yep it's awesome it's a foundation not a i think it's like a pre-foundation or something but i wear it as a foundation it Dang. covers enough i think do you remember how much this was? 
feel like it was like $12 or something. That's not bad. Infused with squalene and hy hyaluronic acid, this glow booster creates a skin enhancing soft focus effect for effortless radiance. It's the only filter you'll ever need. Oh, word. Classic. Fix Plus. Fix Plus. Jones Road. Nice. Yeah. Empty. Whatever this is. Oh, this is like a bronzer stick. Or a mm, contour stick. Yes, contour. Yeah. Also, this is my favorite, too. This Fenty How Many Carrots. It's gorgeous. Wait, is it like a highlighter? Yeah. They used to make it in this, like, little, like, they made it one year in this, like, little rolly ball that was, like, wet. They haven't topped that, but this is the closest they have to it. It looks like just like a glittery silver in the pan. I know, it's really pretty on. Wow. It's gorgeous. Do you ever watch videos on... Oh, that's how you apply it. I thought you already had it on. There. Cool. It's like very great for dry skin. The doe foot is really I nice. like it. I like it. I like it work. You have your chairs, your couch, your own fridge. Wow. She's a fancy bitch. <laughs> and the dress and steam and merch really cool necklaces and then well there's a shower in here and everything oh they're not crazy so crazy wow how do you keep this open i don't i couldn't figure that out yeah Sammy, make us some room. Oh, you guys, I got in a bike accident, my first one the other day, and I was wearing this helmet. Anyway, I was going downhill, and then I see this like crack, and I was going a little bit too fast, and I'm on this new bike, and I hit both brakes, front and back, both at once, so it just stopped immediately because the brakes are like super strong. And then I, because I was going downhill, I flipped over my bike and this woman saw from um, the street and she was like, oh my God, like you landed on your head. Thank God you were wearing a helmet. And like nothing really happened to my helmet. This part like popped off. And I was just like, oh, maybe I can like continue using it. But the thing is you're not allowed to, or you really shouldn't, use your helmet after you've been in a crash because there might be like minor um, like problems with your helmet, right? So then um, I'm like looking at it, I'm like, it looks like totally fine to me. And then I looked at it in the sun and yeah, I could see like little 
lines, like little fractures right here. But anyway, this company Thousand, they'll give you um, a new helmet if you break your original helmet. So um, just keep that in mind if you buy this helmet. But this is the old version and I wanted to show you the old version in comparison to the new version because I have three of these helmets or I had three of them. I had a white one that I ended up giving to Lisa and then a navy one that I ended up giving to um, Maddie because she has a bike and um, she didn't have a helmet. So then I have the silver one for myself that had that has my name on it. Well, not my name, but my initials. And yeah, so this is the old version. And this is the new version right here. So this only has like three little air vents and this has like m way more air vents. And there's this little like notch area right here and it's magnetized so that you can attach a, um, a light to it, which I have lights on both my bikes so I don't know if I'll go there yet. It feels more comfortable than the old version for me. And um, Jason said that it looks like um, like, I was like, oh yeah, it looks almost like a motorcycle helmet, like a vintage motorcycle helmet. And he was like, it looks more like a, um, like a riding helmet, like a horse helmet, um, which I think is really cute. Yeah, so this is going to be my everyday helmet now. Here, let's check out this beautiful lake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Success? I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll try if it piles up, but it's hard to capture it. Really. Yeah, you can't really see it. Big chunks of hair. It's sort of, it's almost, it might be something else. See how it's, it's almost snow foam consistency? Yeah. It's not classic hard hail. There's some other word, there's something in between snow and hail. There's some word that somebody told me last year and I forgot it already, but it's... I wonder if that's this. Snail. It's cool. You should get the view around the corner here. That's... that's the... <coughs> Jason, can you do it? Yeah, is it running? Yeah. <coughs> from, inside the, from inside the tent, it feels like... It sounds like bullets. <laughs> oh yeah, it's coming down now. Awesome. No one's getting wet because it's all just hailed so far. Hey Christine, so what happened last night? Uh, it was, it started hailing at around 3.30 and then it started uh, raining through the night, well not through the night, maybe until like 8 p.m., 9 p.m. So now there's snow everywhere, or ice everywhere. Yeah. And I slept from 8 p.m. until... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now I'm finally up. I didn't brush my teeth to get my contacts or wash my face or anything, so now I'm doing it now. And what's next for the afternoon? Uh, we're going to go hike for about an hour and a half um, to a different lake. Yeah. Do the Charlie move.
No day but today. <laughs> Your lungs! Oh man. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's silly. That's like an involuntary. You gotta eat from the inner because the inner center part because then the outside or the bottom outside gets roasty from the stone pot. But the rice, it gets crispy, so it creates that like you know. The little pancake at the end. Right. Yeah. What do they call it? Like a sopora. I got. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Look at the rice. Meaning, she's a. <laughs> yes, so we had Then. Look, see? Got the plate bowl to ourselves. Yeah, the whole place to ourselves. Shouldn't be the okay. case. It's delicious. Yeah, this is one of my favorite places for, especially for Chinese food. And then. What else did we order? Oh, um, honey walnut shrimp. Yeah. And beef chow fun, which is has It's coming up. We'll see it. There we go. And then the uh, honey walnut. Why not? We already have that. That's not our fault. That's the driver's fault. Do we order anything else? No, there's everything. <laughs>